Welcome to this tutorial showing how to create a dynamic and interactive chart. Our goal here is to create a chart that will update when changing the product. Therefore, we need to create a formula to capture the right data to be used for the chart. This is how it looks at the end of the process. Our chart, the data behind the chart, sales for two years for five products, product A to product E. Currently the chart is showing sales year over year for product A. I can switch to another product and the chart will update. Therefore, it has become a dynamic chart. So now let's take a look at how it was built. The data is actually behind my chart. I'm going to move my chart. I'm using the headers for the month and then three rows of data to build my chart. But first, it's about extracting the right data because it depends on the product that's selected. And that would be in the first two rows. Let's see how it was built. For my second year of data, 2019 sales, I need to enter a formula to go grab the data for January of that second year. And I'm going to have to combine two lookup functions, offset and match. Equal offset. Where am I going to start? I'm going to start here in my data set. That will be my starting point. I need to enter the row I want to, to capture. In my case, no, that would be the product. Which product? Currently it's product D, but it could be another product any product from A, B, C, D, and E. So I need to look up the product and see where it's located in my list of products. I'm going to use match. The lookup value is located here in D9. D9 has to be entered as an absolute reference. Same thing actually for the starting point. It will never change. So I need to enter absolute reference. So going back to my match, comma. So I'm looking up the product ID where, and that would be in my range here. Same thing, using absolute references. Comma, zero because I need an exact match. Come out. Now for the column, I'm going to use that row here that I created that will help us tremendously. Uh, so one, two, all the way to 12 to capture the different month. So for January, one. Now keep in mind, we have two years worth of data. So to capture the second year, I'm going to need to add 12 to get the correct month because the first January belongs to the first year and right now I'm beating the formula for the second year. Closing parentheses. Now here for that cell it needs to be able to be flexible. Uh, that means not C11 because as I will use my formula down, it will not work. So I need to enter partial uh, references. So C$11, freezing the row pretty much, but not the column because it may become D11 or E11. Now my formula should work. So we get a value. Now let's check. What was 
the sales amount in January of 2019, and we should get 12037 There you go, for product D. Now let's use the same formula across for all the month. I'm going to copy the formula. We're going to use it for the first year. And it's going to be pretty much the same, except that at the end, I don't want to add plus 12 because I want to capture the first year. So 80,669. Here it is. And then using the formula for all the months. And now as I change the product, the data will change. And because the data is dynamic in my rows, and this is the source for the next rows being used for the chart, my chart is now dynamic. This concludes our tutorial. Thanks for watching.